Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Renew. I'm Pastor Tony Cowan. Thanks for joining us and let's get right to the point today. We are talking about the reality that God is a good God. That He is only good and only wants to do good in our life. That every good gift and every perfect gift comes down from the Father of Lights wherein there is no variation nor shadow of turning. You know, good and evil do not come from the same source. God does not send evil in our life because there's no evil stuff for Him to send in Him. He is only good, He only has good and perfect gifts, and He sends those down. God has not changed over the years. The same good God that created all things is the same good that brings salvation and restoration into our life. Now we're going to look at a scripture today over in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 10 and verse 38. And it reads this way. Actually, this is the middle of Peter's discourse to Cornelius and the people who were gathered at his house. But I want to pick up this one verse here. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Now I want you to notice right there that God anointed Jesus for a purpose. What purpose was that? To go about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for the Lord was with him. God was with Jesus. You know, it tells us over in John chapter 1 that no one had really ever seen God perfectly until Jesus came. This is John 1, 18. It says, but when Jesus came, he came to reveal God to us, to show us the Father's heart, to show us his purely good nature and his good intents towards us. Now I want you to notice, not until that time, we don't really have a full, good, clear picture of God but when Jesus came, what we see in the life and ministry of Jesus is the perfect will of God. It is a revelation of who God is, and that is to only do us good. Jesus came, it says uh, that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, who went about doing good. Now why do you think that's true? Because God is only good and only does good. He only can send good things because that's the only thing He's got. He doesn't have evil things to send into our life. The thief comes to steal, kill, and to destroy. Jesus comes that we might have life and have it abundantly. Now he specifically says that he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. So notice that sickness and disease does not come from God. It's an oppression of the enemy. It's something that the enemy does to try to steal, kill, and to destroy. See, we again need to make that distinction right there. Sickness and disease is evil. It does not proceed from God. God does not send it into our life in order to deepen our piety, to deepen our spiritual walk, to work out some mysterious will of God in our life. That is untrue. And if you, come, if you believe those things, you come into a place of non-resistance to the thief and to the enemy to bring his evil purposes and plans to pass in our life. Now, I've heard even churches going through and praying, you know, over their congregation, specific needs over people in their congregation. And they get to people with cancer and they pray, God, just help them understand what a blessing in disguise this is. <laughs> Let me tell you something, they're not reading the same Bible I am because cancer is a stealer, a killer, a destroyer, it's a thief. It wants to steal, kill, and to destroy in our life. Jesus came to oppose that. He came to heal, to restore, to make whole that which sickness, that which Satan has wrought through oppression of bodily ailments. Now we'll see this again over in Mark chapter 3. Mark the third chapter. This is the story of Jesus. We're going to pick it up with verse number 1. Mark 3 and 1 and following. It says that he entered the synagogue again, and a man was there who had a withered hand. And so they watched him closely where he would heal on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, step forward. Then he said to them, is it lawful on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they kept silent. Now I want you to notice right there what Jesus' interpretation of good and evil were. Notice this man with a withered hand. Now we are, God didn't create Adam with a withered hand. He didn't create us with a withered hand. These things happen because we're in a fallen state 
in a good and evil environment. But I want you to notice that God wants to make right and restore and make whole those things which happen because we're in this environment. And so Jesus said, this man, healing this man with a withered hand is a good thing. Withholding something good like healing from him would be an evil thing. Saving life is good. Destroying life is evil. Now we need to get that right. This is according to Jesus right here. Now Jesus went on to call that man up. He said, stretch forth your hand. And that man stretched out his hand and it was as whole as the other. Jesus didn't say, God sent this evil into your life in order to deepen your piety and teach you a lesson and teach you some spiritual things. No, Jesus, this was unacceptable to the Lord. He is coming to restore and make whole, to restore it to the very good spot that it was before when God created it. Yeah, I'll tell you, that's good news. You know, when you just find out what really God views good and evil are, according to Jesus, that he heals all who are oppressed by the devil. It's God's will to restore any and all parts of our life, to make them whole, to bring good into our life. Well, that's all the time I've got for today. Join us again tomorrow. If you'd like additional resources and materials, go to TonyCowan.org. We'll see you tomorrow.